Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we are going to talk about practice and the Petra method. Two years ago I gave you guys a video, some of you have seen it, some of you haven't. It was on perfect practice and the Petra method. method. The Petra method is a system of practicing that I came up with 20 years ago when my daughter Petra was born. So the Petra method was designed so that you could get in what would be the equivalent of eight hours at the table in a much shorter time period. When you arrive at the pool table, you need to know why you arrived here. You got here for one of four reasons. You're practicing, you're learning, you're testing, or you're playing. Practice is shooting drills or shooting balls in in a manner that is there for no other reason than to improve your game. That is practice. Learning means you have a new skill that you're trying to pick up. And we're going to talk about that. But if you can get in your practice and your testing and then sprinkle in a little bit of learning, you are going to improve much faster. And that's one of the things that the Petra method is about. The P in Petra stands for progression. What do we mean by progression? This is a drill called the acid test. Some of you that watch this channel, you've seen this 20, 30 times. You know this drill. I came up with it because it allows you to practice your draw shot and your ability to put balls in the pocket. And the reason I called it the acid test is because you can't do things wrong and make this shot. Now I shoot it with my cue ball two diamonds away from the pocket. If you get any closer, you can't even line the balls up to do this. So you get down on the shot, you shoot a draw shot, and you're bringing the cue ball back to this rail. When you put the ball in the pocket and you touch the rail, you have successfully shot the acid test. But that's not your shot. That's 5% of amateur players that are going to make that shot on a regular basis. A good place to start is to put the balls at the halfway point. We're on a nine foot table. If you're on a seven foot table, an eight foot table or whatever, it doesn't matter. Put the balls at the halfway point and shoot them in that corner pocket. When you are a favorite to make these, you're going to progress. You're going to move the balls out further and further. You do this whatever drill you're doing. Find a way to make whatever drill it is you're looking at a little bit more difficult. A little bit more difficult. What does that mean? You do not shoot this on Monday, make two of them, and then on Tuesday you're trying to shoot it from there. That is not progression. You are going to make this shot slightly more difficult. You're not going to use these diamonds as your gauge. You're not going to go from here to here. You need to move in quarter diamonds. If you do not have the ability to make them from this point, which is a high intermediate shot, by the way, if you're a relative beginner or you're, you know, you're a low intermediate player, maybe you're just developing your draw shot. Get your cue ball closer. Start moving your cue ball further and further back until you're behind this head string. And then you start moving that ball further and further out. The difference between you're a favorite to make it from here and you're a favorite to make it from there could be months, depending on the amount of effort you're putting into your learning. The difference between here and here could literally be decades, honestly. The good news is you don't need this shot on a regular basis. It's nice to be able to perform it but you don't need this on a regular basis. But at this distance, the halfway mark, if you have that, you've covered 80, 90% of the draw shots you're ever going to have to shoot. Progress to the point where you can shoot them at the halfway point on, on the table that you normally play on and you're in a good place. So progression, but do it in small increments. Easy. The E, engagement, means that you are at that table to do one of those four things. Know why you're there. Be engaged in that one thing. Doesn't mean have the TV on. 
It doesn't mean having a conversation with somebody over here, listening to the radio. I like to listen to audio books while I practice. I am still engaged in the practice. And the reason I know is because sometimes I don't even hear the book. It's just there in the background keeping me company. So make sure you're engaged in whatever it is that you're supposed to be working on. The T stands for time. How much time are you spending at the table? If you are spending 15 or 20 minutes at the pool table and then running to go watch whatever the hell you watch <laughs> on TV, that's not time in. If you have a table at your house, put in the time. There are people that would kill to have a pool table in their house and I got people that have tables in their houses and they've got all kinds of things. It's become a workbench, it's become a storage place, it's become a lot of different things. If you're not going to use it to get better at the game or at least entertain on a regular basis, there's a lot of people out there that would love that table. Put in the time if you want to get better. You're not going to get better with a half an hour here and 15 minutes there. If you have to go to a pool hall or a club or somewhere else to put in your practice time, make sure you're doing it. Yeah. Watching videos, reading books, the things that make you better at pool. Playing does not make you better. I know some of you think that it does. I can give you a list of 100 guys right off the top of my head who have not improved in the last 20 years. All of you who play the APA, you know those guys who have been a four forever. And then they moved up to five and they still play like fours forever. They've got 10,000 hours of play under their belt, but they don't have 2,000 hours of practice. That's why they're not any better. Make sure you're using your time wisely. Make sure it is deliberate practice. The R stands for resistance. Resistance is the big brother of progression. If I make this shot more and more difficult as I go, that is progression. If I make it more difficult to make the shot or to play the game or to do the drill by using very often outside forces, that is resistance. I'll give you a couple examples. When you guys see me shoot an eight ball break and run in a video, a lot of times I will shoot one half of the rack, spot the eight ball after I make it, and then go shoot the other half of the rack. That's resistance, okay? There's one thing to run a rack of eight ball. There's another thing to run both sides of that rack after you've spotted the eight ball. So that's a bit of resistance. The A in the Petra method stands for analysis. What that means is when we're doing our drills, whether it's playing against the ghost or shooting our drills or whatever the case is, whatever you're doing to practice, you need to analyze what you're doing. My way of analyzing is when I shoot the acid test, I keep score. I shot 50 of them. Did I make 40 or did I make 45? I write it down. Keep score and you won't need to do anybody's testing system. You have your own. You're doing the same drill. The only thing I'll warn you about is make sure you're doing, you're comparing apples to apples. So don't shoot it on a nine foot table one day and then on an eight foot table the other day and say I improved. So keep your records if you're changing tables Keep your records for seven, eight, and nine foot tables. And I suggest strongly that you keep a performance journal. What is a performance journal? A performance journal means you're gonna write down, kind of like a diary, what you did that day and how it went. You are not going to put negative things in this. I sucked, I did badly, I need to be better at this. It's a lot better thing to write down. I wasn't quite myself. I'm going to be better at this draw shot than I was today. I'm going to improve on that acid test because what I did today really wasn't me. Don't fill this book with negativity. Don't forget to subscribe and hit me in the comments, give us a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you soon.